top five skincare brands for two different phases of life. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Makeup Maria from Miami. Today I have a very special guest. It's my niece, Alexis, and so I'll let her do the intro. Take it away, Alex. Hey guys, my name is Alex, and I'm here today to talk about all things skincare. So today is a very special video. It's in collaboration with my beautiful Aunt Maria. Maria, thank you so much for having me. If you're interested in all things skincare and makeup, please consider subscribing to this channel. She'll be so happy you did. And Today's theme is going to be about different types of skincare for two different age brackets groups. So it'll be very interesting to see what she picks, what I pick, and what our skin needs, what our skin concerns are. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, before we get started, I want to mention that I want to promote vocally pro-choice beauty brands on my channel. I mentioned this to Alex after she sent me the videos and although she's pro-choice, that wasn't something that she had in mind when she was doing this video. And I explained to her and I will explain to you as well that there will be a mixed bag in this video because it's difficult to find replacements for my beloved products. So I will label the products accordingly so you know. Uh, what is vocally pro-choice and also i will leave a link below to kate the great beauty's list of vocally pro-choice beauty brands in case you're interested first up is this bad boy i love this stuff this is the salicylic acid cleanser from the inky list and i love this this is my third or maybe even fourth bottle i recommend it all the time to people that have blackheads oily combination skin like me I am more prone to, unfortunately, larger pores, which means blackheads, and this is an excellent job of combating that. It's very lightweight, it lathers extremely well. You can even put this on your chest, your back, anywhere you're feeling that you have a breakout, a blackhead issue, and this is a really good job of clearing that up. And you can't beat the price point. I think it's maybe $14, $15, so highly recommend. May 1st. My choice for cleanser is the Tatcha The Rice Wash. And I love this very much because I also have large pores. And so this, with because it's a rice wash, gently exfoliates my skin, but it's very gentle. It's for normal to dry skin, and it actually leaves your skin slightly moisturized. Price point, it is hefty, but I have found that I'm also lazy. And so if it's a product that I enjoy using, I'm more likely to use it. And so that's why I like Tatcha. It's a great brand for me. It is vocally pro-choice, and so that's why I use it. So next category is SPF. Guys, do not forget your SPF. It is the most important part of your skincare routine. And what I've chosen is the La Roche-Posay, and this is the Double Repair Face Moisturizer with SPF 30. Again, I love this. I'm almost empty, and this is so easy to use. I tend to be very lazy with my skincare in the morning. I roll out of bed, I'm hitting the snooze button 10 times over, and if I need five minutes, I just cleanse my face, I put this on, and I'm good to go. What I like about this is that it's a moisturizer as well, so when I have to put on a light face of makeup, it's very easy. It doesn't pill by any means. Um, it doesn't feel e greasy either. There are also items like niacinamide, glycerin, and it's very easily hydrating throughout the day without that greasy look. So for that reason. Okay, so the next category is SPF. And if you're not new to my channel, you know that SPF is very important to me. I have had two incidences of skin cancers, one here and one here and I have videos, I'll link them below so you can take a look. I will show you the scar that I had on my face after the surgeon took a chunk out of my skin, so wear SPF, folks. And it's difficult for me to find the SPF that's pro vocally pro-choice brand, so that's one of the areas that I'm really lacking in. For day-to-day, -day, I use the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield Glow, and I use this because I feel like it sticks to my skin. It's 50 PA++++ and it has a little bit of a glow, it has a little bit of a tint. So day to day, I can just use this and throw on some eyebrows and that's basically what I wear uh, on days that I'm not, and that I don't put on makeup. So I like it very much. I think it protects my skin well. I can tell at the end of the day, when I'm washing my face, I do a double cleanse anyway because I need a double cleanse to take this off. So I know this stuff sticks on your face. And I, I, for me, that makes me feel better as far as skin protection. 
Um, for days that I'm wearing makeup, I use the Shantikai Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Primer. And this is a very pricey product. The color science is pricey as well. But again, it's something that uh, I, I feel like you need to fall in love with your sunscreen. And this is a lovely, lovely product. I only purchase it when it's on sale. And it's I'm on the struggle bus, frankly, to, to find something to replace this because it works so well. It moisturizes, has great Chantecaille products, and it provides a really nice primer for my skin. I don't use any other primer for makeup. Love both of these products. So next category is retinol, and for this, I had to do it. This is the Biosense Squealing and Retinol Night Serum, and this has been such a game changer. So what I love about this is that it's not super drying on my skin. That's what I tend to find is an issue with other retinols that I've tried in the past. And this is very light, this is very easy, uh, just a pea size amount will do you, you shouldn't overdo your retinols. And I like to apply mine about four to five times a week. I like to give my skin a little bit of time in between to rest, maybe do a mask, maybe a lactic acid serum, but this has worked wonders with my skin. Again, it just clears everything up. I've noticed a difference with a little bit of fine lines and wrinkles underneath my eyes. It just looks more fresh in the morning. Um, so for that, Okay, so for retinal products, I use a prescription I cannot show you. It's a prescription 0.05 tretinoin and hyaluronic sodium, 0.5% niacinamide, 4% prescribed by my dermatologist. I like it very much, but I can only use it a couple of days a week because it is very strong. And though I've been using retinal products practically my whole life for acne first and now for skincare, I still would like to use it more often, so I'm looking into using a retinal ester, which is less likely to cause irritation. There's something called A313 that I purchased, and so when I, it's from the French pharmacy, so once I receive it and start using it on the days that I don't use my prescription, I will do another video and let you know what's going on. By the way, the two essential products you need are a good retinal product and a sunscreen a, a decent moisturizer is fine but those are the two products that it's been proven scientifically proven to help your skin what whatever the age up next we have serums and for serums i had to choose this this is the innisfree the green tea seed hyaluronic acid serum and this is wonderful for replenishing skin to give it that really nice glowy dewy look especially after a long day of just makeup after you've done like a double cleansing method if you want to feel like you've had just a glass of water thrown at your face without it being too heavy on you this is what you're supposed to choose also Maria, don't kill me, I love you, but I had to choose two. So the Innisfree I use more towards night if I just wanna replenish my skin before going to sleep. This I use in the morning, another Inkyless product. This is the vitamin C serum, and I love this because this has uh, peptides, it fights free radicals, it helps, you know, there's a ton of antioxidants in there, and it really, again, brightens the skin, it gets it prepped ready for the day, and when you use this, you gotta use uh, SPF, don't forget. So. Gotta use these two. These are definitely in my rotation. Okay, so the next product is serum, and I use the Dermatology Needless Serum. I'm sure that you've seen this advertised on social media. It's quite popular. I think it works well. Um, I use it because it has a lot of different products in there, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and it's a one-stop shop, and it's uh, a nice light liquid. It layers well. It's almost like water and it's reasonably priced. So I'm using it, but unfortunately it's not vocally pro-choice, so I am looking for a replacement. So if you know something, let me know. So last but not least, we got moisturizer. And for this, I also had to do two different uh, products, one for day, one for night. And for the day cream, I decided to use the You To The People. This is the Adaptogen Deep Moisturizer Cream. And this is very moisturizing, but I don't find it to be too heavy. It's very lightweight, which is why I use it during the daytime because during the day I really like to use a lot of SPF. I do like to use some makeup and I really feel like this doesn't make my skin too oily. I don't have time to be blotting my face with those oil-free makeup remover blotters. You know what I'm talking about and just no one has time for that. So I like to use this for the daytime. And let me also say that that has peptides in it. So it's really good for antioxidants, fighting free radicals and whatnot. And for nighttime, I love this. This is a new find for me. This is the pharmacy. This is the 10% niacinamide night mask with vitamin B. This really helps to really 
smooth out my pores. It really helps with fine lines and wrinkles. And let me just say, this product is like nothing I've ever had. The texture, the consistency is so bizarre and so strange. Can you see that? Let me take out a little bit here and put it there. A little goes a long way, guys. I cannot stress that enough, but it almost feels, and I don't want to seem like it's you know off-putting because I absolutely love this stuff. When you first put it on your skin or when you put it on uh, before you rub it in your skin, it almost feels like petroleum jelly or Vaseline or something, but when it blends into your skin, it almost just gets watery and I can't explain it. It's just, it's beautiful. It really stays there all night. It doesn't move and it doesn't make your skin break out in the morning. It doesn't cause any oiliness. It just really combats uh, your blackheads, your um, your wrinkles. It's so bizarre to me and I I am I'm in love. This is this is just wonderful. It's nothing like I've ever used. It even comes with a spoon to help with bacteria, but this is just such a game changer. I'm in love with this. So between this for night, this for day, gotta have it. My moisturizer. Okay, so the next category is moisturizer, and because I have mature skin, I'm always looking for the latest product to keep my skin hydrated so tatcha is a favorite product i start i start with the I'll, I'll do this quickly because i've got a lot of products to run through i like the essence it's the plumping skin softener it prepares the skin for moisture it's pricey it's lovely i have bought multiple bottles and i love it this is the old packaging this is the new the moisturizer it is glowy, it feels good, doesn't make you broke, break out, and it is a lovely product. I've used multiple products and I really enjoy this. Since it's so pricey, what I've been doing is using this Centella Unscented Recovery Cream for every day. It's a lot more affordable. It's a Korean brand. They had the company Purita had an issue with sunscreen not being as effective. I think that a lot of sunscreens aren't as effective as they think. So I like this product very much. It's a little bit of a hassle to purchase because I personally don't like to purchase on Amazon and that it's available there. It's also available in other places, but it's worthwhile for an affordable moisturizer well, an affordable day to day but if i had my choice it'd be tatcha every day i also use the polypeptide future cream youth to the people i like this very much but i think that for this product i think it's also the type of product that a young person would have um, better luck with um, it's a wonderful light product i used it all <laughs> pretty much it's a vocally pro-choice brand I don't think I would repurchase it though. I feel like I need something that's a little more moisturizing. Make, I just purchased this um, and the, for the last couple of days I've used it just nighttime. But this is very much a heavy duty moisturizer. So this is for mature skins. I don't think people with normal oily skin would like this because it's very intense moisturizer, overnight moisturizer. But so far so good. I'll update you in a future video if I you know, if it's a something I'm gonna repurchase. I have fallen in love with the Thorn Oil products and I just like the Priming Facial Elixir. It's an oil, it's a red oil. And it's amazing because it's, it's kind of weird <laughs> looking at it, but it's you have to shake it well and then you put some drops in your hand and you just kind of press it into your face. I love it. It actually does work as a primer. The makeup and the, my sunscreen go on better with that product underneath so that's really surprising to me then they have the hydra hydrating skin mist which i like very much as well but this is basically again with the red <laughs> but this is just something that i pop on just when i'm feeling dry and i just want to spritz it's got a nice spritzer i'm not going to even try to do this with my glasses on on camera but You'll have to take my word for it. Wonderful products. And there you have it. Those are all five skincare products. If you've liked what you've seen, please consider subscribing to this video. I know my aunt would love to have you. Maria, I can't wait to see where this goes on your YouTube journey. And I am so proud of you. Until next time, thank you guys for having me. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Alexis, for participating. If you have follow-up questions or comments for us, please don't forget to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. Abortion is healthcare. Don't forget your sunscreen. Peace.